Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. All right, let's get back into building the Lego Friends the Summer Fun Water Park. Look at that. I've got all the words in the right order there. Summer Fun Water Park. We got, we got about oh, maybe a third or more, maybe almost halfway of the way through building this and then I was exhausted and I took a nap. So, but now I'm back from my nap and I feel all refreshed. So let's continue building. Make sure you check out the first part if you haven't because we investigated the new tube pieces which make the water slide on here but oh man I've got some ideas for how to use these in custom builds and all sorts of things I just need to get my hands on more of them now so we can have a fiesta of tubes maybe not a fiesta okay so but maybe maybe it will be a fiesta of tubes or maybe not okay so up here we are building it's look looks the whole thing looks a bit like a sandcastle like a massive sandcastle so sticking the shells on the sandcastle makes perfect sense this shell here has got a brand new seahorse figure and it's very Lego frenzy. Very, very cute little, little dots on this seahorse face. Looks different to the ones that were released last year that come in the in the ocean creatures pack. So this is definitely an animal that is designed to stand on its own. You know, do you know what I mean? Like not in a group with the other stuff. Oh gosh, does that make any sense? I think it makes sense. Right, we've put a flag on the top of our sandcastle. We've got a brand new seahorse piece and now we need some seaweed so that it just looks, really looks very cute. <laughs> okay, and down here we get some of the, oh, the coral seaweed, or the coral coral, the coral coral, that's it, because it's not seaweed. And we get that, put that other coral flavored, coral flavored, <laughs> that's concerning, the coral colored seahorse on the top. Okay, we're at the end of this bag, so I'm gonna have a look at the spare pieces. Nothing here that looks too untoward, so that's good. By untoward, I mean, it's supposed to be on the set somewhere. They definitely look like random spare pieces. This is what we've got so far. We've got some plugs on the side, ready to add some more. We are up to bag number five. Now, we've already met all of the mini dolls. So we're starting this bag with a treasure chest with some not overly valuable treasure looking in there, but there is an octopus guarding it. And this goes in the front. That's so colorful and cute. It is really very, very summery themed here. I like the fact that at the bottom of all the slides, there are smooth pieces. That's a really, really nice addition. Okay, checking out what we're building here. We've got some massive azure blue angled plates there. I wonder if these plates have ever come in that, oh, they've got two of them. We've got two of them, people, two, and they make a great angle shape. Yeah, okay, is that, is that, that makes sense, it does. It makes a big triangle. And this is so that we can, we've got another one here. This is so that we can create, when we plug them in like this, whoop, they snappy turtle, but they're gonna be held together, hopefully by these bits on the back. No, these are just to help support the, those bits that were floating up in the air. Are these pieces going to hold it together? Let's see, we've definitely got some, we've got some hinge pieces on there. Oh, all right, so. That goes there, this one goes here, and it's all sitting on top of us, the smooth pieces. That is how it's all held together. We've made a nice big triangle wedge, which is going to go in the middle. In the middle? Yeah, it, you'll see, in the middle. So at the moment we've got some big walls going in at what's going to be the back, and we've got more hinge pieces because there's gonna need to be a whole heap of hinges to, to be able to connect this, uh, because it's all now angled. It's very, very angled. And no, we've got a ladder though, which so we can climb up our angle. <laughs> which angle do we want to climb up at though? Okay, that's nonsense. It doesn't make any sense. All right, so we've got a happy star. There's happy starfish here on the little yellow smooth piece, which goes up here. And we've made kind of like a doorway at the back of our wedge. We have a wedge doorway. Right, let's find out what we're building on top of our wedge doorway. We've got some blue, some blue with with a really nice sticker. So the sticker is to show the, the water movement at the bottom. The water splashed down the bottom of what is shaping up to be a decent sized waterfall, I think, down our water park. Some big door frames, which is such a wonderfully quick way to create a nice tall facade on the sides. And we're plugging, yeah, we got plugs up there. So this definitely goes between the two main parts of the water park. It's the middle bit. It's the middle bit. More hinges. So this is, I don't know what this is doing. Let's put this sticker on. It's got some wet footprints on it and <laughs> some puddles, some puddly wet footprints. And they go all the way up here. 
on this level and they kind of look as though it shouldn't be very secure. What if I poke that? Yeah, that's really secure. Okay, that doesn't look as though it should be, but it is. Okay, so the first level down there is yellow. This is the top level, which is pink. And we have extended the waterfall all the way to the top. Oh, uh, well, to the top of this platform. That'd be pretty cool to slide down that. Oh, that's looking really good and quite tall. So the ladder's to climb up to that first level. I don't know how we get up to the second level yet, but I'm sure we will find out as we keep going. All right, we are building something with cylinders. Cylindery pieces and some Technique pins and a curved, ooh, a macaroni, macaroni tubey thing. And another one to make, oh, it looks like a shower. It is a shower of sorts. I think it's just so you've got a, like a little water showery thing that you can sit in down here. That would be so soothing. <laughs> and, all right, so let's plug this in. There we go. Plugged at the top, plugged at the bottom. Get Emma out of the toilet, oh, well, out of the changing room. She's been in there for a while now. Ah, oh, okay. Now, at the moment, this middle piece is kind of floating. So it, it gets connected to the other side with a whole heap of connectory things, aka these blue, this blue stuff that I'm putting on now. The white single pieces there to take this up to the same height. And now it is so securely connected. And these are the spare pieces. One, two, three. <laughs> From that bag, we are getting less spare pieces as we go along. We're up to bag number six. Okay. Got a nice big pink base plate. And we're obviously starting the bottom of the other third of the actual build. And this, this I'm curious to see what's in here because... You can't really see this from the front. This is like hidden around the back. And we've already got the bathroom. Oh, hold on, we got some crystals in here. That's gonna be really, really uncomfortable if you land on them at the bottom of one of those slides. So let's hope this isn't at the bottom of a slide. <gasps> it's a tile piece with lots of steam, which is not on straight. I cannot handle that not being on straight. Let me fix that. Okay, because it's got grid lines on it, there's no way I could have stood that. In fact, that's the most beautiful sticker. So that goes in here. It's like a, it's like, it's a hot tub, like a hot um, springs, a hot springs tub with crystals. <gasps> and I feel like there should be some sulfurous smoke coming out of it too. Because <laughs> you tend to have some volcanic activity going around where you have hot springs. And that's what this looks like, is a little hot spring. I love that. And we've got some seats over here so you can sit to wait your turn maybe. <laughs> Olivia is hogging that at the moment. I don't think she's getting out. I think if I were her I wouldn't be getting out either. I think this would be my favourite part of the whole water park. <laughs> Okay, soothing hot springs down below. That's so cool. Okay, yellow level for the first level up there, matching our other ones. Now, on the outside, this is facing the front. The front, so the part where all the slides are, the part where all the water is. So we go through here, through our big open doorway to get to the hot springs relaxation spa. It's nice. <laughs> now I want a spa. <laughs> but I can't, I need to concentrate. Okay, we're building some... Oh, look at those, they're not even... Oh, I love the mismatchiness of this to make it look kind of craggy and watery, like a... kind of like it's a waterfall support. In fact, it even looks icy here. We've made like an icy, watery entrance to the spa, to the hot springs. That's so pretty. And we've added the water on the front so you can wade through the water. <laughs> wade in the water to get through to the hot springs at the back. Oh, look at that. That looks so good. Okay, we are, I'm focusing, I promise I'm focusing, not just obsessing about the hot springs because it's my favorite part. Even though we've got a tube slide, I just want to hang out in the hot springs. <laughs> I've got another smooth part going in here and kind of a little, a little tub enclosure-y kind of thing going on with the curved white pieces. And that means that's going to be where the slide ends there. And we're smoothing off along the top and that, that went really quickly. So up here on the first level, putting a slide on. So yes, I knew. And then the next piece of the slide goes down here. Nice angles happening into the smooth little barpy kind of area there. So it goes down just into its own dedicated slide exit, which is nice. It means you're not going to run into anybody randomly just wandering through there. We've got some green, you know, red and red and green buttons for go and stop at the top. And here we got some spare pieces. I should not have two of those, uh, two of those pink flat square pieces, I don't think. So one would be normal, two not. So I've put this, yeah, okay, I missed it off down here. 
So spare pieces often when you look at them you can go yeah no I definitely shouldn't have two of those. <laughs> now we're up to bag number seven and now I fixed up that little bit where I'd gone a bit wrong but I would have found it out later anyway. Okay up here around our slide or just tucked into the little curve of the slide got a focal point with a, a little butterfly fish and that's pretty. Okay, up here on the first level, we've got our, so we've got, we're going to have to figure out how we're going to be getting up here because there's a slide up here and no ladder as yet, but we're putting another big kind of windowy point there that we're building around, like not a window as such because there's no glass in it, but a big open area. Hmm, okay, let's find out what's going to go up here. Up here we get oh, some little mini deck chairs in coral, some coral deck chairs. So a, a reclining area up here on the first level above the hot springs. <laughs> oh, it matches, matches the butterfly fish beautifully. And in between we need of course a table with some pretty, whoa, pretty toxic colored drinks. They're definitely like lava flavored drinks I think. I think this is the, the this is the the volcanic side. That reminds me though, because the escape from Llama Island is what I'm calling one of the new sets, where they have llamas and you have to rescue them from a volcano. Maybe this volcano, no, that volcano is what is actually heating up the hot springs for the fun park. <gasps> That's how they're all connected. Oh my goodness, my brain exploded. And I'm probably wrong, and I'm just making stuff up. Probably I'm wrong, but uh, you know. I'm conspiracy theory. Now we have got a fish tank happening over here for the butterfly fish. <laughs> I'm back. I'm <laughs> sorry I'm back now. <laughs> Stopped reading the conspiracy magazines. I'm okay. We've got a pink roof up here which is obviously the uh, the second level, the floor for the second level as well. Got some plugs happening at the back which are going to get this technique piece here. That's very very sturdy. So oh here's our ladder. Oh no that's the ladder up to the next level. I still don't know how we get up to the first level, to the yellow level from here. Ah, we'll find out as we go. But curious, I'm always curious. Got some more water, nice big waterfall. Plus this one has got, yeah, definitely lava rocks here. And some like hot spa flowers on it as well. That is sticking out weirdly. That's kind of at a strange angle, but it is on correctly. Okay, another shell up here and some more seaweed to match the other side. Another one goes, okay, coral, the coral coral, the coral colored coral with the coral colored seahorse on the top. And down here we get another coral colored coral with some flowers and some, yeah, and, and a butterfly fish up there too. That one's escaped from the fish tank. <laughs> Look at that. Now, now we can plug that in. We basically got the, the plan of this together. Now we just need to add all the rest of the stuff. We still another bag, but we need to connect it together here. Same kind of process as the other side with all these smooth blue pieces. And we need to build up that little white section in the middle. And then we just smooth that over with pink. It's looking spectacular. It really does look great. Now, spare pieces. We have got three. We've got <laughs> a pin and a rod and 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 that. So I've made that now. <laughs> Magical. We're up to bag number eight. So now we are working up here on the second level, the pink level. And by the colors I'm seeing in this bag, we've got a whole world of sand, a uh, whole, like whole heap of tan colors, which is going to be building our sand castle of the facade, the sand castle facade on the top level. I like these big yellow railings. Safety first, very, very important. And we're making some really nice shapes with all these. So we've got a big arch here. Oh, by the way, that reminds me. Now, now that you have seen most of this built, do you think that it looks like the resort at all? I mean, I thought that at the very beginning when I just looked at the picture on the box, I thought this looks a lot like the resort, except it's kind of sandcastly on the top. But now we're this far into the build, it's very, it, it's unique. It, it's not just a remake of the resort. So I need to eat my words. Not that I'm surprised because I eat my words all the time. Not particularly tasty. I probably need to put some sauce on them, but it is, it is a standalone set and it is really, really enjoyable. There's so many fun features in this. <laughs> so it's not the resort after all. Okay, we've got another big coral shell here on some Technique hingy things, which means this is going to be moving and we need to, where's this going? So we need to go, we need to go up. Yeah, let's go up and around. So this is on the front, in the middle. 
and it goes up here. Okay, so we got a flippy flappy shell thing happening at the top. And this part here is like a little handle. Got some Technic pins here and a like a diving board, kind of. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. So that just holds it in place. It holds it up, but it's really easy to release. Now you're not supposed to put that on the, no, you're not supposed to put that on the studs. It's supposed to hold it just like that. So you can put water in it, <laughs> well, Lego studs in it, and then you can drop them down on Emma, who was totally unsuspecting down below. Most of those bounced onto the floor. So they don't really seem to stay, because <laughs> it's quite a drop, it, yeah, they bounce out. So those have gone everywhere. I've lost a whole heap of blue little studs all over my floor. <laughs> and I'll step on them later. But that's a cool feature, a water dump from the second level. Okay, let's see what else we've got here. Some more technique pieces and dirt on my working table. And get off, there we go. And two of these are mirror image ones. And in between them, we've got a massive big flat white. Okay, so this is going to be the sign. I do like these big flat white plates the big panels and I love the fact look at that that's how we're extending it curving over the edges with the quarter pie pieces Woo, and we put the sticker <laughs> the flamingo being the emblem for the water park the flamingo is having a great time and now these go oh these are the supports for the actual sign ah nice now where is this installed we need to go up again this goes, oh, it goes around our water dump. <laughs> okay, now, now we need, yes, we're, we're sadly lacking in foliage. So we need some palm trees. So we know that this is super tropical. We're putting them on at our compass points at north, east, south, and west. Never eat soggy weepix. We've got one here and we need another one. Here's one I made before. Let's take these up. These actually get plugged into those that sturdy Technic pin piece thing over here that we saw before. And this one goes up the top, angled out a bit. Ew, so tropical. <laughs> that's, that's really vibrant up there. Okay, we are continuing our sandcastle flaggy bits at the top. And are we pretty close to done? Oh, look at this. There's this new piece, a flamingo, a different flamingo to the one that Lego released last year in the CMF series. Was it last year? I think it was last year. This is a very cutie pie one. This one's got an anti stud, just one anti stud on, on his foot, on <laughs> one foot. Bit sad though, flamingos like living in flocks and this one's very lonely. But we do have two new animals. So we got the new flamingo, the new seahorse piece. Well done, Lego friends theme. We get some new animals. What else have we got to do? It's looking pretty full now. We've got some more, oh, some layers of blue going up to white. So it's like, uh, it's, it's, this is a water splash or a big fountain of water. So you've got dark blue at the bottom going up to the frothy at the top. And we've got the, the blue water pieces just to indicate what's happening. This is actually at the bottom, a flippy flappy bit on the bottom of the slide. That's fine. Emma does not get poked in the face. She does by the water, but <laughs> it's okay because it moves out of the way. On the side, we've got a sign that says, what does it say? It says, no diving. Sensible. In fact, there's no diving board in this one. Unlike the, remember the swimming pool that actually had a diving board and a no diving sign? <laughs> <laughs> Most excellent. Safety first. Okay, so we have finished the whole... Oh, hold on. I, these little pins don't have anything. They get some more shells shoved up here on the sand castle. And now we are complete. Okay, so the back actually... Oh, so we go up this ladder, round here, up this ladder, across here, we can go down the tube. So two ladders actually get us everywhere we need to be. That's cute. It actually looks really quite good from the back. The front is spectacular. There's a lot going on there, but the back also looks good. Okay, let's uh, chuck these water guns in here so that they don't forget to use them. Let's set up all of their beach towels so that they can relax when they've had enough. <laughs> enough of, when do you ever have enough fun in the water park? I don't think so. And the ice cream van for when they're famished and they need to spend Stephanie's $100 note on some ice creams. And that's it. It's all done. Let me know in the comments what you think of the <clears throat> Summer Fun Water Park. That's it. I got to the end and I can say it. The Summer Fun Water Park. It really is an awesomely fun set. Really colourful. So many things to do in here and lots and lots of cool details, including the hot springs where I just want to hang out for a day, except I will get wrinkly. Okay. I will see you for another video very, very soon. Now's the time to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Give the video a thumbs up and check out the channel pretty soon, like really soon. Come back. Come back.
everybody because there'll be another one up soon. <laughs> I'll see you then. Bye.